So let's jump into the quick lane bowl. Wednesday, December 26th, it is 4.15 p.m. ESPN in Detroit, Michigan, Minnesota, and Georgia Tech. Minnesota 6-6 six and six on the year, but 7-5 and five against the spread. 2-2 two and two against the spread their last four. Georgia Tech, they are a uh, six-point favorite currently. They opened at four and a half. Uh, seven and five record, five and seven against the spread, two and two against the spread last four. Last game for Paul Johnson. And Minnesota has suspended six players for the bowl for a violation of team rules, and I haven't even seen which six. Yeah, I don't think there are any stars because they haven't talked about the players suspended very much at Is all. Is anybody on Minnesota a star? I, mean, I don't know that they're starters. How about I, that? Okay, you Use might be right about that. different phrase. You might be right about that. Um, because because nobody has talked about the suspended players. Yeah. Uh, Minnesota's defense, not uh, not great. No. Not great. Um, I mean, they, they so they're 118 in the country against the run, at least in, in rushing yards per attempt. They give up 5.22 rushing yards per attempt. Um, and they, they can't really run the ball, 4.08. They are an opportunistic team, but even then – Everything tends to skew the other direction because Georgia Tech is plus eight in turnover margin. Minnesota is minus five. Now, Minnesota whipped Wisconsin because Wisconsin couldn't hold on to the football. Minnesota finished the season strong. They certainly did. Their, their last their last three games, they played really well. Um, and, yeah, I mean, they were still two and two against the spread in those, but they, they got to a bowl game because of that. Yeah. Uh, P.J. Flex got the team playing well. They uh, they don't score much. Georgia Tech, you know, they are twenty second in the country at thirty five point six points a game. Uh, they give up twenty eight point nine. That's good for seventy ninth. Minnesota, they are seventy fifth in the country at twenty seven point nine in defensive points per game, but they only score twenty eight point uh, five. So that's sixty ninth in the country. There's it, there's not a lot numbers wise to look at with Minnesota and think that. They're going to be able to win this game, especially if the players are, are playing for Paul Johnson for his last game out. Um, Minnesota should have more fans there in Michigan, I yeah, would think. Yeah, probably. Uh, I don't know how many people are actually going to care because it's the quick – didn't this used to be the uh, the Little Caesars Bowl? I, I don't know. I think it used to be the Little Caesars Bowl. I paid no attention to any sponsorship of any bowls. <laughs> <laughs> the metrics have Georgia Tech minus three. So that that is the number that you would look at if you were wanting to go that Minnesota. Would, that would sound about right. I'm going to go Minnesota. I usually, like I said earlier, I'm going to lean towards the coaches that I like and believe in. P.J. Fleck is, I think, a far superior coach with two and a half weeks to prepare for his his team for, for, for this game. The triple option's tough, but when you have opportune time to, uh, to get ready for it, teams tend to be able to shut it down. Um, and uh, – while I think the players are going to play hard for Paul Johnson, they better because the new coach coming in, if these guys were brought in to run the triple option, none of them are going to be playing football again. Yeah. Not at Georgia Tech. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think you're probably and, right. And, and so, you know, there there could be some anxiety there of, is this my last game with this school? Will I be able to stay on with the new coach? Um, I, I think some of those feelings are going to get involved in it. I'm going to be going Minnesota. And I'll take whatever point. I hope it keeps getting bigger. Um, and then I'm also going to go under the 60. I under think the, the 60. triple option takes a lot of time. I don't think it's a fast-scoring offense. So even when Georgia Tech scores, they're going to score because Minnesota's defense isn't great. But they're one of those teams that can have a nine-minute drive yeah, and then score. And that's fine. That that I think I feel better about the under than I do Minnesota. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm rolling Georgia Tech minus the six. Uh, I'm getting less than a touchdown here. I know the metrics say it should be three. I, I still think Georgia Tech, with their ability to create turnovers, Minnesota known for turning the football over a little bit, um, I think Georgia Tech will be able to uh, capitalize on a few opportunities there. The The metrics say that the total should be 63, so that goes over the 60. This line has come down from 61.5 to 60. Um yeah, I mean, I, I'm still going to go under the 60, like you. Uh, I could see this being like 31 to 20, you know, something like that, and that keeps you way under. So uh, so I'm going to roll Georgia Tech minus 6, and uh, under 60, you're rolling Minnesota plus 6 and under 60. 